Hello and welcome to this John Charcoal update regarding vital ed, holiday let and second homes. Let's get stuck into what we want to cover. Before we get actually get stuck in, please feel free to subscribe so you can get notifications on all our updates. So what's actually happened out there in the white air holiday and second home market? Well, the answer is at the moment it is absolutely buzzing. With the number of people coming through the lockdown, either they might want to move outside the city, the demand is already higher. But actually it's a unique opportunity that we haven't had for several years. Because stamp duty has been abolished up to 500,000 for completions up to the 31st of March next year, that means for buy to let properties and holiday lets and also second homes, you won't pay the normal stamp duty. You will pay the additional stamp duty, but please bear in mind with purchases up to £500,000, that could be a saving of almost £15,000 on completion. So if you're thinking of doing it, now is the best time to actually go out and do it. So, what does that actually mean for you? Well, if you're a buy to let landlord, the cost of acquisition of properties has been pretty steep since George Osborne brought in the additional stamp duty. Having a basic stamp duty removed up to £500,000, which covers the vast majority of buy to let and holiday let properties in the UK, means that you can actually do what you wanted to do before without having to pay a large amount of stamp duty. You'll still have the additional stamp duty, however, that, that will be a lot less than the full stamp duty price. So now is the best time for it. It also includes the second home. If you've got no intention of renting the property out, feel free to inquire about getting a mortgage on the second home itself, or even raising money on your main residence in order to buy a second home. It really is absolutely kind of time for good events. So please, feel free to contact us if necessary. So what actions should you actually take? We need to get all your finances in order. We need to make sure your credit record is totally clean so you get the best possible choice of lenders and products. And then we would always advise, and anyone should advise as well, talk to a mortgage broker. Get an idea of how much you can borrow, how much it's going to cost, and then pick a product with your broker, giving you full advice and recommendation so that you know which lenders you're likely to be approaching. The broker will then give you a decision in principle, which means that when you're looking for properties, you are armed already with a bit of paper that says you can borrow the amount of money you want. And in this current market where demand is extremely high, I can't recommend that enough. Get your deal to go through as smoothly and as quickly as possible without any dark things going on like presumption, which is out there at the moment. So that's what I would do. If you need to contact us, please feel free to visit our website and get your telephone number or send an inquiry form. Thanks very much.